can actually uh, just go up and down. You see the, uh, to expand the field of view right here. This is what I really like about, about this one. I usually just set it right here because uh, I usually reverse it. And, um, and uh, for, um, for household that had child, this is very good feature. If I change it to the park or change it to the dry mode, it will automatically go straight to the dual screen mode and I set it as a default. This is my Orvalex camera. It's the most incredible thing. As you can see, the night vision on this camera is absolutely incredible. It's got some features that um, that you normally you don't find. Um, first of all, um, the lens is amazing on this camera and even when the headlights come at you, it doesn't um, blur like the other rear view cameras do. Um, the second thing is it's got GPS. That's the, if you see it says north over there, it knows exactly where I am. It sets the top, it sets the clock automatically um, based on the um, based on the time zone because it automatically picks it up from the um, from the GPS. Other thing to note, you could see that the the resolution for the front view for recording, if you uh, are in an accident, is uh, pretty incredible. And the camera, um, you could put it wherever you want. So if there's something in front of your rear view mirror, um, like I have, I have a tag. It doesn't uh, get in the way because my camera is elsewhere. Um, other things to note um, is essentially um, you could configure the reverse line. Right now I have it, it's pretty good, but if I wanted to configure the reverse line, a lot of these cameras, the reverse line is always wrong. Well, on this one, it's not. So thumbs up on the Ervalax. Thank you for making it. So as you can see, it is already dark outside. And this is my dash cam that I have um, that we just got. It When you turn on the car, it automatically shows you your reverse because it knows that you're going to back up first. Um, so here's a car coming right here. You can see that even though it's dark out, the night vision is awesome. And the phone is actually not doing it justice, but you can see it crystal clear um, on my screen on the monitor. So. If you touch this here, it's touch screen, you'll see that it starts recording right away. So I have mine set to record in three minute increments and you can actually lock the videos so that they can't accidentally be deleted. It also has GPS. As you see here, it tells you which way you're facing um, and it records your speed if you want it to, but you can turn that off as well if you don't wanna have that on there. It shows the time it shows the date and then of course the company name that I got it from which is Yervalax. So if I stop this here you can see here um, even when it's recording you can switch the view so now obviously this is the front view here um, and then I'll show you so even while it's recording you have this option here to switch your view so you can watch the back the front or you can have both the back and the front which is really awesome and it also comes with reverse lines for when you're reversing we haven't hooked up ours yet so it won't actually show it even if i put the car in reverse but just to give you an idea a lot of these cameras don't have the reverse lines right and when you install the dash cams you have to change the way that they're facing but if you come in here and you look at my reverse lines when I touch reverse line correction I don't have to do anything because it is literally directly in the middle it's exactly where it's supposed to be um, and it beeps when you go through it so this is by far, as you see, it started the recording over again because I went to the main screen. So now it's recording and it's recording both regardless of what you're showing, whether you're showing the back view or the front view or up. Oh, and you can also take a picture as you see, I just accidentally hit the picture button, but it records both no matter what. Um, and then as I said, you can go back and you can play the videos. So if you touch this play symbol, Right here, you can click any video 
and then click play. Well, that's the one I just went away from, so that's why it's not doing. But you can see here and hear me because it has audio as well. So this is a wonderful dash cam and I highly recommend it, the Your Relax. I got it on Amazon. I think it was around $200, $215 after the warranty and everything. So very good deal and very simple setup. Here's the installation that I made on the rear using a couple of screws. And then here is the actual Add a small kind of foam inserts in between the actual dash cam. I've put the front camera here. So far, it works pretty neatly. I've configured it because I have a cargo box at the back. So when I actually back up. I lower it so I can see my cargo box, but when I'm on the road, I can actually use it as a rear view mirror. Hey everyone, in this video today, I have a Eurvolax smart streaming video mirror dash cam. And if you have seen some of my other previous videos before, I've done a couple of these already. This one is just a new iteration of it, which has a couple of different features. Other than the front, graphics here just no other packaging on the box to so keep it clean upon opening the box this is what we have a piece of foam to cover the mirror camera itself here is the mirror lcd part of it so this is the front it just has a button it just has clips on the back and a speaker there's no camera on the back of this so you're going to have to mount that separately and on the top we have the different ports like the av in this three and a half millimeter we got the sd card and the usb so two cameras plug into this actually we remove this piece of foam, lift up this cardboard part, and now we can see all the different accessories, like the rear camera cable here. This one I believe is the GPS antenna. This one is the power cable where the GPS antenna plugs into. Some clips, some more brackets, some hooks for the back of the camera, some more mounts, a second camera, an SD card, and a manual. Using the two rubber bands I was able to clip the mirror onto here successfully and now I'm just inserting the SD card. Insert this power cable as well which I have routed through my door sill and through my headliner. And after that it's going to come right on. And for routing the wires all I have to do is just use a different kind of tool. It's like a flat edge tool and just stick the wires into the headliner like this and then just route them down through this direction and then into this rubber weather stripping that's over here. Wires just tuck in there and go straight down. The camera itself does come with a bunch of different settings. You can see there's 1080p or 720p resolution, different kinds of loop recording, sound recording, beeping, parking monitoring, EV, 
it's like exposure values, G sensors, all of that stuff is pretty much going to be here. Even date and time, language, LCD power saver, yeah, the list goes on and on, but it pretty much has what I need. You also have the ability to mirror the rear view camera and put lines on the rear view camera as well to help you park. And when you stop recording, you're able to go back into the history and then be able to see all the different stuff that you recorded over time. The manual in this camera is pretty well documented. It does have a lot of good installation instructions for the front and rear about how to position it, how to take off the 3M tape, and then mount it properly to be able to make sure you have it down properly. Also, the operations show the exact features just fine as well. Like, I didn't know you use a touchscreen in a certain way. In this little clip here, I do have the front camera showing, and I am holding it with my hand towards the window. But what's interesting about this is you're able to rotate the camera as well, and just make sure it is placed as close as possible to the windshield to reduce the risk of, like, glare and stuff. And on this side, with the rear camera pointed at me, which is where it is right now, that's where the camera is defaulting when I turn on the car. You're able to switch this as well, and if you want to switch cameras, you can press this button here to toggle between the front camera, the rear camera and front camera at the same time, or even just the rear camera. And compared to some past cameras, I like that when you swipe up and down, you can actually change the angle and positioning of the camera. That's pretty helpful when parking. Lastly, from a quality perspective, I like to see if I'm able to read plates. And in this one, I am able to. This one says DM6X073. And when I take it out of this camera view and actually show you what it looks like in real life, it is the exact same plates. But there you go. Hope this video helps you in identifying all the features and things that go into this camera. I hope you guys like this video, and I hope it helps you out. Thank you very much for watching.